Good afternoon YouTube and welcome to Fantasy Forecast. This is going to be an incredibly short video. I'm just trying to put a lineup out to you guys. Um, I just want to, you know, I, I promise results and promise videos. So, uh, 303 yesterday, 302.8. You can check the lineup and pause it if you guys want. Um, there were a couple spots that weren't good, like Miles Turner, I mean Davis and the things held him up. A 303 score will normally be enough, but on an inflated scores like last night when people are getting 307 from the cash lines, I mean, I barely missed hitting. So it happens once in a while. Like I said, we're just trying to hit 300. Well, today's lineup. At the point guard position, Lowry and Frazier. Um, I like Lowry's position against the, the Wizards' faster pace, and he put up a lot of points in his last game, and I don't see a reason why the trend can't continue when the pace is on his favor and he doesn't have a lot of defense and standing in his way. Um, Frazier is mispriced. If you're going, using my stuff for DraftKings, he's been appropriately priced over there, so you can skip him. But until they readjust his price, and I know Memphis runs things a bit slow, but... Um, he's still the number two option behind Davis. Keep taking Frazier until they run him up to 6,000. Um, DeRozan, you guys saw what he did. He, he's a beast. Just keep on taking that beast to the bank um, until they've adjusted him up to like the high eights, 9,000 or so. All these things are a little bit mispriced on FanDuel. They're doing the same thing they did last season. They're just going slow. The shot guard position, this is a little open for you guys. Um, I took Kilpatrick there because I'm just going for a solid cash floor. As long as he gets about 25 minutes or so, which is what he's been averaging in the last four games, then he's probably got a nice solid floor of 20 points or so. A lot of it does come from scoring, but he'll have the opportunity to do it if he gets 25 minutes of playing time. You can go to Kyle Korver playing against uh, the Lakers. Anyone against the Lakers can be a good pick, so if they start to blow him out, Korver could see some time too. Um, definitely consider that. Um, at the small forward, we got Butler and we got T.J. Warren today. Um, Butler's put up a good line against Boston, and he's kind of skunked out in the last two, but they were blowout games. So, you know, watch the way Chicago play in a closer game, and you'll see Butler do well again. Um, T.J. Warren, I know you're taking the Suns, but someone's got to score, and they run him for 35 minutes a night. So keep on taking him until as long as he's 5,500. It lets you fit in Anthony Davis. It lets you take Zebo again. I think they're going to start letting him take the ball out, and he might start transitioning into a starting role. They're seeing a lot come out of him, and I don't see a reason why they won't run him out for substantial minutes again, even though he's sixth man. This and uh, finishing out, take Okafor tonight. Um, along the same lines where um, Embid last night was, you know, the main guy that was going to get some some extra minutes. Embid's out tonight um, on the rest, and you got Okafor in. So run Okafor and for your center. I'm not going through other positions. I needed to do this line real fast so that process is in time. Okay. Um, ideal cash lineup that I'm recommending for today. Once again, Lowry and Frazier at the point guard position, DeRozan and Kilpatrick at the shot guard, although you can switch it out for Kyle Korver, Butler and Warren at the small forward, Davis and Randolph at the power forward position, and for your center, go with Okafor today. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your night. Go on out there, go win some big money.